Okay, so I got this email. Um, apparently, they had seen what I had posted on Twitter. It was about the CBS Sportsline gaffe where they ran waivers 24 hours earlier, and some people wanted it to actually stand. <laughs> well, anyways, um, he emailed me, and uh, it was uh, my next column for fans cited. So you can contact me at Kamish, that's the Twitter handle. My email is thecomisho at outlook.com. Any way you want to roll, I'm here to help. That's why I do what I do. All right, here's the letter. I'm in one of those CBS leagues that had waivers go early. When they reset their mistake, there were people who wanted to let them keep their players. They're upset, the people knew their bids, you know the story. I made the decision to let the reset stand. Saw your tweet about it and wondered if you would discuss it because I thought the same thing. I didn't explain it in, the, in that way, and I want my league to hear an official response, if you know what I mean. Okay, so here's the official response. Uh, be careful for what you wish for, uh, because when I'm done, you might not agree with me any longer, and I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But it's funny because at one point I felt compelled to write about it. And it seemed to be over as soon as it happened. It just came and went. And there are people who posted and I got into a, a conversation about it on Twitter. But that really, really wasn't a, that was really about it. Um, there wasn't an ongoing Twitter rage happening. You know, the ones that last for days and days and days. Uh, so it kind of felt like old news to me. But after getting the letter, uh, it led me to believe that, you know, maybe I was wrong in that sense that I, you know, while the moment has passed, uh, it's probably not going to be the last time that this issue happens. So I decided to, uh, to address it. And once again, you can find it at uh, Fan Sighted Fantasy. That's where you will find me, Reginald James Kamish, and my column, Kamish Rx and Kamish Rx Advice. All right, the official response. Uh, just in case some fantasy football players and commissioners were vacationing on Mars during that time, we are going to review what happened. CBS Sports Line processed waivers 24 hours earlier than normally scheduled. That wasn't good. Sports Line then moved to correct the error by resetting waivers so they would run at the appropriate time. Now, seemingly, that was the right thing to do. Correct their mistake. Right? Well... Not surprised, not surprisingly, some folks disagreed. Turns out that some players in leagues that use a FAB, and that stands for Free Agent Acquisition Budget, they, some of the leagues that use FAB they, to bid on players, they were especially troubled. Dun, dun, dun. So normally after waivers are processed, everyone gets to see the resultant bids of the other players. Now, some of these folks, they were upset about the redo because they wanted to keep the players they bid for. And since the reset gave the owners knowledge of their original bid, oh, they feared a bidding disadvantage the second time around. Oh, poor folks. Okay, so first, I think Sportsline did the right thing. They made a mistake. They fixed it. Simple, right? Next. This situation came down to fantasy league commissioners having to choose between the lesser of two evils. They could either honor the reset with no further action needed on their part, or they could reassign the players lost due to, to the reset. When waiver claims were processed early, people still had time to make their claims. That option was taken away from them. Do we get that? We all get that, right? Do I, do I have to say it again? I'll say it again. When waiver claims were processed early, people still had time to make their claims. That option was taken away from them. They never got the chance to choose players in the first place. Who, in the name of fair competition, would think this was okay? Somebody. Anybody? Okay, so compare this to the owners who had already put their bids in. After the reset, okay, while their original bids were revealed, guess what? They still got the chance to participate in waiver claims a second time. 
they were actually afforded an option that the other people in their leagues weren't afforded. But that doesn't matter, right? Okay, so maybe I'm missing something here. But um, the whole appeal of using a fab in fantasy leagues in the first place is that everyone gets an equal chance to bid for the same players. So while some owners got their bids exposed, other members of the league didn't get a chance to participate in the first place. That, my folks, my friends, my detractors, whoever you are, that is the most prominent transgression in this case. I'm a commissioner myself, and I believe in this case, you, if you're a fantasy commissioner, you have to address that which holds the highest priority for the whole league. And in this case, is giving everyone the chance they were supposed to have in the first place. Soothing the hurt feelings of whining owners because people saw their original bids. Sorry. Nope. That fails to hold that status. It does not. Not on my planet. Why is it okay for someone to be penalized simply because waivers processed while they still had 24 hours to make their claim? It's not. It's not. It's not okay. Did it ever occur to some of these folks that perhaps other players might see their bid and think, What? No way, man. I'm not paying that much. Shoot, 50. No, I'm not paying that much. Now I'll go get somebody else. Did that ever occur to... It had to have occurred to someone, someone out there. Maybe the reveal, maybe that acted as a deterrent in some cases. And I'm saying maybe. But it's not, you know, beyond the realm of possibility. And all this went down because, look, the point is, it's pretty selfish for people to maintain the, the position yeah, well, too bad. It doesn't matter that waiver process before they were supposed to. Too bad you thought you had more time. Ha! Too bad you thought you had more time to get your bids in. You saw my bid. So you know what? It really doesn't matter that I got to participate in waivers and you didn't. No, people. That's not what we're trying to do here, are we? Is that what we really want to do? All this went down because of a technical gap by Sports, sports Line. I sighed, and apparently the person who sent me this email, they, they're on the, we're on the same, we're on the same planet. Maybe there's just two of us on this big, vast, desolate planet, maybe, but no, I know we're not. But I side with those who believe in everyone getting a second chance due to CBS Sportsline doing the reset. Because folks, this wasn't a situation where a shady commissioner decided to alter the scores to suit their own needs thereby changing league rules, the scores, the changings, the, everything changes, the standings, the scores. No, that's not what we're talking about. This was a technical error committed by the platform. Let's say you get tickets to go see a one night special engagement showing of North Dallas 40. You know, you know those kind of screenings, I guess depending where you live, but they have the original cast, and you have a Q&A, you get to see your stars, and you're all happy because you get to see Nick Nolte and all that stuff, and blah, 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 and, 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 all, and then all the ticket holders, you get the free movie posters, and you walk out with a huge bag of swag. Well, upon your arrival, the theater manager tells you that they decided to hold the event the night before. Everyone present at the theater at that moment the night before, well, they got, to, they got to go. They got to attend the event instead. You don't even get your money back. Just a mild, yeah, well, now that we think about it, maybe we shouldn't have done that, but we did. Oops. Too bad for you. And I'm sure all of you bemoaning, but my bid, man, they saw my bid, my bid, man. I bet you'll be cool. You would be cool with that, right? If that guy just looked at you and just said, "Up, oh, sorry," you'd be cool with that, right? Yeah, sure you would. <laughs>